experience, you experience that feeling of love, right. of pain, yes. of, uh, let me see, of, of you've been inspired, fear, fear, yep. hatred. Yep. But let me tell you something out of all the feelings in the world, there's no feeling like an orgasm. An orgasm is like no other feeling that you ever feel in your life. They do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, Kane. So in the middle of my video that I was intended to make, God sent a messenger to me, to us. Everybody yet? A message. Check it out. Before we get into the video, I need you to stop what you're doing. I need you to hit that like button for me, King. I also need you to subscribe if you're new to the channel and drop a comment down below on every video. This is vital because this is the only way we're going to get these videos out here, Kings. We need to get these videos out here to other Kings to help them become their best versions and their more alpha versions. So I need your help. I need you to be liking every video. I need you to be subscribing if you're not subscribing. And I need you to be commenting on every video. I don't care if you comment a crown for King. I need you to comment on every video, King. Let's get back into the video. So look. So yeah, so you know, so and uh, let me say what I did. So January, I made a commitment. I wasn't going to ejaculate. And listen, and because I was changing the way I think, guess what? I never, I never even got a rise. I think guess what you are. Know, sometimes how you, how you sleep and you wake up, right. certain things you get a rise on, right, right? Right. I never even got a rise. Right. But guess what? But, but guess what? But thoughts kept coming. So January, I didn't have sex. February, and I'm just talking about a person like me. That is, uh, guess what? That is unbelievable because that's what I live for. Right. That's that's. that's yeah, don't mind if I. I'm sorry, man. I just gotta get some man. of this, man, because this this is gonna inspire people, man. If you don't mind, man. I know you gotta go, but. And I, always, I tell guys, I tell, I say, instant gratification is not meant for me because that's our biggest downfall now. We have instant gratification at our disposable. When we want to watch porn, we watch porn. You know, when we, we when we want to ejaculate, we ejaculate. When we want to get high, we want to drink. That's what it's, we do all that. It's no discipline anymore. That's, that's, that's right. So listen, I remember, I'm 67. I'll be 68 in a few months. Okay. I was a recovering addict. I, I've been clean now like 27 years, right? Yeah, I've been truly here. blessed. But listen, but I can remember, I remember when I was really strung out on drugs, really, really bad. I'm talking about I sold, I sold my body, I did anything, any and everything. Guess what? I lied, I cheated, I harmed people just to get one more hit or one more, one more drug. But then when I got clean, see, just not drinking or not smoking or not doing, guess not doing a lot of things, you know something? That's not enough. That, that's, that's not enough. Guess what you have to do? You have to change the way you, you have to change the way you think. Change the way you think. See, if you, see, if you, change, if you change the way you think, Come on now. Then guess what? Then all that other stuff, guess what it'll do? It'll go so look, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't lie, I don't cheat, I don't steal. And then it's not so much as me change. I believe I believe that there's a power so great. It is. It's a power so great. A lot of times I really don't have the power to do a whole lot of things for me. But you know something? But if I tap in, right? It's bigger than yourself. It's big it's something bigger than me. Yep. And I believe in something bigger than me. Absolutely. So yes, then well. therefore, guess what? I can overcome anything. That's it. I haven't used drugs, man, in 27 years. I haven't had a drink in 27 years. I haven't smoked a cigarette in 15 years. But still, but guess what I wanted? But guess what? But my flesh was still alive. And I can remember the same way that people that I took that people took advantage of me yeah. when I was getting high. Guess what I turned around and did? Took advantage of somebody else. Until finally the light bulb says, Danny, you can't do that. Right. That's not empowering nobody. Right. What kind of message are you really saying? Guess what? So, so can you really see you for who you really are? I tell people you have to be the change you wish to see. You know. Yes, yeah, so right. You have to be able. That's yes, right. And it's a, it's a, it's about it's about commitment. It's about dis, dis discipline. Yes. Sir. And guess what? See, in, in our black communities, man, so we, we we have we have sex like like people drink water. Come on, man. And guess what? You can't you can't even see a girl. Guess what? For the for the human species, the person that she is. Guess what? You see her, you see her as a sex object. Only thing you want to do is put your dick in her. You guess what? When she said her name was Merlin, you heard Merlin, but don't think your mind heard was pussy. Come on, man. See what I'm Jesus. saying? It's crazy. Come on, man. I'm just, I'm just no, what I've learned. Beautiful. That is no, been, this is beautiful. Because this is what I talk. My, this is what I talk, man. So. And this has been my experience. I'm not just talking with somebody. Me as well. I know. Now yeah, that's why I love. I'm not yeah, read. I'm doing something that I live. I know, right? A beautiful. That's I've what I lived. love. Yeah. yeah. Seven hundred and fifty thousand people that was on the earth. But I'm gonna just show you, man, how God should not be taken for granted. Out of 700,000, 750,000 people, 
only eight people went into the ark. Ain't the, guess what? Just think about that. It was only eight people that went into the ark. So guess what that should tell you and I? So guess what? So so promiscuous, being promiscuous, doing things with your body, guess what? That you shouldn't be doing? Right. Putting things in your body, which you shouldn't be putting in your That's body. It. I'm a vegan. Are you a vegan? No. I was a vegan for a while. I, got, I had got sick because I had stopped taking some medicine that I did. But, so, right, but I'm right. still kind of but See, but you have to watch what you eat. All through the Bible, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's always about. Guess what? Whether you pay attention or not, one of the first things. Guess what? The first thing that God gave us, He gave us a diet. That's true. He said, "Guess what? This is what He's I've given you. This, this, this. Guess what? For your meat." And so, but, but I guess what the point I'm making. Guess what it says? It said the people they were partying, they were marrying, they were laughing, they were sexing, they were doing everything that made them feel good. And listen to this. Look. Look, that's what a lot of these people are doing. They do. We're so into everything that makes us feel good because that's what we do. We keep on wanting to satisfy what? Self. Flesh. Flesh. But it ain't about satisfying self. Guess what you're here, man? You're here to serve. You're here to make, you're here to make a difference when in somebody say, else's purpose. life. The purpose. That's to I serve somebody you. else's life. Yeah. If God only saved eight of seven hundred and fifty thousand, yeah. does that not mean that God is not serious? He's serious. You're right. So and back to what you said, what he did, he took he took he took two, he took two of every unclean animal on the on, on the boat, but he took seven of every clean animal mm. because God knew that when that boat when that boat finally landed, all vegetation was going to be destroyed. Well, nothing for it. Well, nothing for right, them right, to eat. Right. So guess what? So the clean the the the, uh, the the unclean animals was there to do. Guess what you just got through saying, so that they could procreate. Right. Guess what? The clean animals. Well, therefore, the same thing, but guess what? But they're also for what? For guess what? For you to be able to eat it. Come on, man. It's just so much. It's, it's, beautiful. Like, it's beautiful when you think about it, man. It's just, just, it's just yeah. think about it. Yeah. God, you know, guess what? We're talking about uh, you know, the, our purpose, but guess what? But, 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 but what I think sometimes, I, I, I think about it sometimes, is, you know, guess what? God's purpose. What is, I mean, what is, what is God's purpose? If you, can, if you can focus on what is God's purpose, right. it won't be difficult to find your purpose. Your purpose, all right? But you but first of all, guess what you have to do? You gotta get self out of the way. Right. Because safe self will choke you this out. That's why I talk to kings about sexual discipline. You know, I talk to men I'm about sexual discipline. You talk about sexual sexual guess what you because I, you know, I, like you said, I had life experiences and I realized at my lowest is because I had no discipline. I and then I feel like for men, like what you said, our biggest weakness is sex. You it's know, sex. We're, we're sexual, we just sex sex craze, you know. It's it's our biggest drug. You know, I, I have friends who you know, when I started talking about semen retention, when I started talking about sexual discipline, they started falling back from me. You know, they started. Like, nigga, you crazy. Yeah, like, what, like, what, what, what are you talking about, man? I got to go. I'm going to get as much sex as I can. You know, and then I started doing semen retention. You know, I, I tell kings, I, I say, if you, you don't have to just, just set small goals. I tell them, just try to go a week without sex. And then yeah. try to go two weeks. And then try to go a month, maybe three months. You know, and then eventually, yeah, have sex again. But you know, you went three months without sex. And then try it again. And that's what I did. See, I went like January, February, March. Then finally, guess what? I had sex. Right. right, but see, but guess what? But then, but then, but let me say this to you. But when I found, when I had sex, guess what I found out through sex that time? What's that? It ain't everything that is hyped up to be. Come on. Man. Did you hear me? Did you guess That's what? It, 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 matter of fact, not only, not only is not everything that was hyped up to be, I felt that I had degraded myself in the sight of God. Come on. Matter of fact, God said, you know something, I'm not pleased with that. But you know why? Because I wasn't pleased with it. All right. Just the whole act. When I when I when I when I and I was like, Daddy, what you know? What are you doing? So now, guess what? I'm on the road again. That's it, huh? That's I got it. I got three well. weeks as well without sex. And when, and when you uh back to what you said, when you harness that energy, imagine I tell people all the time, sexual energy is the most creative energy because it creates another human being. You know, semen creates another human being, right? So you have to realize that this this is our most powerful energy as men that we can harness this energy and we can use it in so many other areas of our life. Like when I hold out from sex, man, my creativity goes crazy. I'm, I'm more inspired. I'm you more, just, you know, you I'm just, more right. busy. I'm more focused when I'm not focused on ass. You know, when I'm not focused that's on right. I'm I'm so much at my higher self, and it's beautiful. And when I, you know, I teach those who you know wish to listen because you know. I tell people I'm not, not a, I'm not a preacher and I'm not claiming to be. You know I'm not Jesus. I'm only myself. So I'm not trying to say I'm holier than now. But if you want to take this path with me, if you want to try it for yourself, you know this is between you and God. This has nothing to do with me. I'm just the voice. I'm just the messenger, right? That's, that's right. That's it. 
I'm just spreading the message. The message, you, you don't got to care about me. You can say, who the fuck is this bald head dude, whoever, you know? <laughs> it's the message, you know what I'm saying, that you should say. Well, you know, I had an older gentleman like yourself tell me, he said, you know, notice after sex, who normally feels tired? Who normally wants to go to sleep? The man. The man, you know why? Because he, he, he didn't put all, he put all this effort into it and, and listen to what she did. Come on, now we give our energy away. Give, we just, you know, give it, and then, and then you give it to them, and then guess what? And because they're confused, guess what they think? I got him locked in now. Nah. That's it. So he got to like, don't say I got to do. I just, you know, guess what? I just put, put and the sad you, part is, for many guys, they do. They do. That's what they do. Because <laughs> the guy think that as well. He's like, okay, I, I found me some good sex. I'm cool. But listen to this. How many experiences have you experienced in your life? Was it sexually? Okay, just, no, that's not just oh, sexually. Just life? Man, oh. You experienced that feeling of love, right. of pain. Yes. Of, uh, let me see. Of, of you've been inspired. Fear. Fear. Yep. Hatred. Yep. Well, let me tell you something out of all the feelings in the world. There's no feeling like an orgasm. That's, that's feeling. Guess what? God, I mean, look at what he did. He gave us something. Guess what? You, you, uh, uh, orgasm is like no other feeling that you ever feel in your life. No, it's not. Did you hear that? That's powerful. And Pope, most people don't, they don't get it. So really, you're not really in love with the sex. You're in love with the feeling. The orgasm. The orgasm is what shoots you to the moon. Oh, oh, right. oh, right. oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Then you get a view of your life. Well, like, people oh, don't care how they get it. You don't okay. care how you get it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> right, you don't care how you get it. And then if you think about pornography, it makes that much wor worse because, you know, I ain't going to hold you up, but I just want to say this. Pornography, I teach guys about overcoming pornography addiction as well. Correct. Especially the younger guys because, you know, they're more on computers and stuff because I tell them, this is dangerous because it's no different than, you know, having crack at your disposal. Having like, Every you know, at least right, with crack, right. you got to go earn it some more. Or hair on, you got to go put the work in to get it. Like, with porn, it's right here on your phone, man. You can live, I can ejaculate eight times a day, man. But, but listen, but, and I'm going to show you how porn fools you. I tell people all the time, I say this. You may not feel like it's weird because you're behind the screen. Right. But I said, take the same situation. Imagine if a man and a woman were sitting here. No, they go, no, they go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah, this is the last thing I'm saying. Imagine if a man and a woman, I say, you may not look at it as weird because you're, you're looking from a screen, right? But imagine if a man and a woman was having sex right here, and I'm outside their window doing the same thing. That's right. You don't look at me like a creep. You don't call me a widow. <laughs> I'm outside their window watching this man and this woman have sex, and I'm, I'm jacking off. Right? And that's, that's what, yeah, you're a boy, you're a boy. Right. You, that's what, so you're just as bad as you sitting there watching right. it? But because you're behind the screen in the safety of your home, you, you don't feel as bad, you know? <laughs> right, and you, and you, think you're, you think you're safe. Right. Boy, oh, but listen, that thing bigger than you, it's watching you. Yes, oh, wait, what is your what is your YouTube? Alpha Sincere, man. Wait, now that. what is it? Let me see. Alpha Sincere. Then I know I can. So whenever I, whenever I, whenever I have some difficulties, I'm gonna call him and say, "Man, Absolutely. check this out, man. This is where I'm at, man." Absolutely. And guess man. what? You know, see, so because sometimes you know something what we need, we need somebody. See, because I don't know you from Man yeah. in the Moon. Right. I live in Cincinnati, right? Right. But first of all, it's gonna take me courage enough to call you and say. Bro, listen to this, man. I'm in this place, man. Guess what? And you know what I'm saying? Right. And then I could I could share that with you. Please then do. I have to continue to share that with yeah. you. Then I build trust. Right. Then I know, guess what? Then I then I know that guess what? They were here. Absolutely. You know, it's not like so you're not pepper perpetrating a fraud. Right. And then and then and, I, and I'm talking about that this has nothing to do with with age. This has this has to do with maturity. You have a lot of folks that are my age, but guess right. what? But they're very immature. Right. Because their agree. minds are what? Immature, because right. they don't because they, as you say, they're so involved in right. it's sex, man. Right, the flesh, the flesh. And so, see, because the very conversations that I'm having with you, I've tried to have the conversation. That's my brother. Got to have the conversation with him. I've tried to share it with so with a few other people, and they do the same thing to me. They do to you. Right. They tend to see like ah, uh, right. you know, because just because that's where you are, that's right. because that's because. You know what I'm saying? And in a sense, I'll defend them and say they're right because I also tell guys all the time we have to find our clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. So, you know, we want to gravitate towards the people that think like us too. That's you know? right. That's if you don't think like me, that's fine. Go find right. people you think about. So, and that's how I end up gravitating towards somebody like you. So I, that's fine with me too as well. I'm like, I'm going to find my clan, man. I don't want you to think like me. You know? what, Hopefully you make it here one day and maybe I'll be somewhere else. You know, it's yeah, right, yeah, because, because that, you know, like I'm here now. Next week, you're going to tell them right, where I'm going to be. Right. But guess what? But, 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 but whatever truth, whatever truths I found here right now today, guess what? When I move to this other place, I'm going to still have those truths. That's I'm it. taking them truths with me. 
And guess what? But I'm just going to be doing something, something different, As you should. something more inspiring, As you should. something guess what that 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 more reflects that re- that reflects God. And guess what? Not only that, but reflects re- reflect the, the energy that my, and, and my being. You know, says so guess what? So I can, man. This is this is this is awesome. If you enjoyed that video, show Alvin Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.